Welcome to Banshee Boy. Today we're going for a ride with the 90 horsepower Johnson two stroke, baby. What's up and welcome to Banshee Boat. Today we're gonna to show you how to mix two stroke fuel for your outboard. This method will work for anything two stroke. So if you're looking to mix for your chainsaw or your sled, then this video is for you. After this video, you'll understand how two stroke works and you'll be able to mix any ratio. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button right there and turn your notifications on for a video every Saturday at five o'clock. Let's get into it. Banshee Boat, baby! Close. Banshee Boat for everything boating. These maneuvers could be dangerous if not operating the boat properly. Do so at your own risk. Make sure to always have boarding safety equipment, pleasure craft license on board, and always wear your PFD. Be conscious of those around you. Respect the shared water weight. Remember, never drink alcohol on board. Always place up on the water. Hit subscribe if you like that intro. The fuel ratio suggestions from the manufacturer's instructions may vary. This could be anything from 25 to 1 to 100 to 1. What brand of oil should you use? That's completely up to you. But I definitely recommend using a high quality oil if you want to protect that investment, optimize performance, and get the most out of your engine. Can I use the same 10W40 oil I use in my Duramax? I can't believe I have to say this, but no, do not use automobile oil in your two stroke. Outboards operate under specific environmental conditions, so it's extremely important to use oils formulated for specific operating temperatures in your engine. 100 to 1 indicates that you'll have to mix 50 milliliters of oil for five liters of fuel. 50 to 1 indicates that you'll have to mix 100 milliliters of oil for five liters of fuel. And 25 to 1 indicates that you'll have to mix 200 milliliters of oil for five liters of fuel. For the Johnson, we use 50 to 1, so that's what we're gonna be showing you today. I'll include a link in the description for the premix calculator. This is just another means to calculate fuel ratios, and it has both US and metric measurements. It's important to mention it's better to have too much oil than not enough oil. The oil helps cool down these engine components and help keep them lubricated. Too much oil can produce a smoky exhaust and a few other issues that can be fixed simply by changing the fuel. However, not enough oil can actually ruin your engine and cause wearing to the pistons and cylinders. To make life easier, you can pick up one of these gas oil mixing bottles right here. There's different variations of this product and they reduce the amount of math you have to do. It's less than five bucks and it simplifies the process of mixing oil and gas. It is a must have in my books. Nobody likes when oil drips everywhere like a trail of breadcrumbs that leads back to the perpetrator, this device helps keep things clean. So typically we would mix 18 liters of fuel before we take the Banshee out. First I would find the ratio 50 to one, then underneath that I would find the corresponding measurement of 18 liters, fill it with oil up to the fill line, and then from there straight into the tank. If possible, it's best to put the oil in the fuel tank before the gas to ensure proper mixing of the two. And that's that, close it up, shake it up, and you're good to go. If you can't find one of these measuring devices, that's fine, you can just use a measuring cup and use the online premix calculator to figure out how much you need. For something carbureted, we recommend using fuel with an octane level of 87 and minimal ethanol for the best possible performance. I've dropped a link down below for the site puregas.org so you can find the best ethanol-free gas near you. They'll burn better and they'll produce less carbon buildup in the engine. Ethanol-free fuel is also less acidic and will be easier on the carb in the floats. Can I use the same gas that I stored for four years in my shed? Never store fuel for long periods of time. Anything upwards of a month is risky business. Old gas can cause blockage in the engine parts and prevent the engine from starting easily. Hope you got what you needed from this video and we'll see you next time. We'll also be releasing midweek videos as much as possible, so don't forget to hit subscribe, turn your notifications on. If you want a piece of the action, this is Banshee Boat signing out. Check out one of these other fantastic videos. You won't be disappointed.